You just celebrated six weeks, the number one. Yes. Was that your first time curling? It was my first time curling, yeah, I'm glad like you asked. Curl. Thank you. I didn't realize how physical curling was. You know, I was thinking it was like a like a drinking sport, and it's definitely not. When you're on the sweeper team and you're trying to melt ice in front of that rock, it's a, it's a pretty good core workout. So curling's like, definitely a yeah. It's it's a legit sport. It's a, it's a thing. It was amazing. Yeah. Thank how you. else was that party? What else? Did you it was wonderful. You know, I love. You know, we celebrated. Think about you um, going number one. But what that party's about for me is is really shining light on the songwriters, on the publishers. Um, on all of my team, and there's a bunch of them, that don't get to be out on the road with us all the time and on stage, filling that applause, and people sing it back. So it's great to shine light on the creative community in Nashville. Um, it took us a while to get there, but we find, you know, having me and Mackenzie's teams all be able, available on the same day, we realized was a challenge, but we pulled it off and we had, a, we had a great time. I look forward to the next one. You've been on the, you know, on the country music circuit for like eight years now. You quickly became a veteran here. What kind of advice would you give to like the newcomers, like the breakthrough artists? Oh gosh, um, believe in yourself. You know, there's a, there's a lot of outside influence um, artistically in everything you do, but but I think what I've learned through the years is find people that um, you're a fan of, and if they want to be a part of your team, usually good things happen. And uh, and then trust your gut. You know, I, I think uh, there's there's been a, a list of instances where you know I, I had a gut feeling, but then I was listening to outside opinions, and um, it, it always seems like my gut was the right decision so I would say uh, just positively reinforce that gut feeling at the end of the day for a young artist you're the artist make the art okay so I'm not gonna lie I've seen you in concert a lot of times and you have like so much energy how do you possibly do that well it's because I love I love it so much you know I've, I've been doing it a long time I played um, in a lot of hockey talks in Nashville and all over the southeast uh, before we started touring uh, nationally at this level and worldwide now gee whiz it's crazy um, but I just love being on stage. There's there's no other um, adrenaline hit like that. There's no other drug like it on earth. And that connection with, with fans, I think what fuels me is just seeing joy on other people's faces. And and uh, I don't know why it's the case, but the fact that we're playing songs and singing and dancing and they're joining and smiling, that's the, that's the best thing of all time. That's the best job in the world. Yeah. Okay, last question. You go to a country bar, say you're in Austin, Texas, you want to do some karaoke. What's your go-to song? Oh, wow, karaoke. Well, it depends on how many tequilas I've had. All right, so uh, down here, well, forgot about Dre is a go-to for me. Okay. I can do Dr. Dre and Eminem's part. It takes a lot of air, but I can do that. Um, and my favorite band's Incubus. Last time I was down here, I found a, a, a guy playing just solo acoustic. But, but when I walked in, I'm like, man, he sounds like he could do a, a, a good Incubus cover. And I went out, I tipped him some money. I was like, you know, Incubus, he goes, this is my favorite band. And uh, he started playing Incubus covers all all afternoon for me. I stayed there the whole afternoon, caught a buzz. We had a blast. Exchange numbers. He and I text all the time still. That's such <laughs> a like, wide range of country influence. It's kind of amazing. I'm all over the map. I yeah. listen to everything. Like the, the album I've been burning up most recently has been SZA's new album. Um, it's an interesting classic. Yeah, it is. I can't wait to see her on tour. That's that's on the list this year. 